Welcome to the exchange training tutorial on using Adobe Dreamweaver to import animations to web pages. And the animation we're going to use in here is the animation we have created in one of the previous videos inside Edge Animate. So it's a web standard animation that works across all different devices because it uses HTML5, CSS3 and JavaScript. So open Dreamweaver, create a site, I've created a site already and open the page or a template, depends where you want to place the animation. So I'm on a template, because on template I can access any part of the page. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this in here. And I'm going to have it appear above the header image. So first, just before the container here, because that's the container, if I just put a curse on the page, that's the container, the entire page. Okay, just before the container, I'm going to add a div tag for our edge animation. So I'm going to insert div, We'll give it a class, say we'll call it animation. We can create a new CSS rule straight away. So say this could be class animation. We'll save it in our main style sheet, mygreenstyle.css. We'll click OK. We'll give it some dimensions. So in the block category, uh, in the box category, we'll give it 900 pixels width. Uh, for the height, let's just double check our edge animation. It's 246. OK, so 246. Padding zero all the way around, margin zero all the way around first. But then we're going to untick scene for all and we'll set the margins on the sides to auto, left and right. Perfect. Okay, no background. Now we'll just click OK. I will click OK. And you see this content for class animation goes in here. I'm going to switch back to design view. I'm going to delete this text in here. And I'll go to insert HTML. And the Edge Animate Composition is underneath, so you don't see it on the screen. But as you're going down, you get hyperlink, email link, HTML5 video, canvas, and Edge Animate Composition. Alternatively, you can go to the Insert panel in here. And as you scroll down, we've got this Edge Animate Composition here as well, in the HTML category. So Edge Animate Composition. Oh, let's uh, publish it again. So let's go to Edge Animation. Because we're going to publish it again. Now, for this purpose, because we're going to place it in Dreamweaver and we'll have it certain size, we're going to make it scale in Dreamweaver as well. We're not going to use responsive scaling, so I'm going to untick it. Okay, we can make it responsive in Dreamweaver really easy. And go to File, Publish Settings. In this case, we're going to publish for Animate Deployment Package. Now, the publish for the web was fine, as we did last time. However, if you're going to bring it on a page, and if you or someone else is going to use Adobe Dreamweaver CC, then Animate Deployment Package will be the quickest and easiest way to go. Now, this only works in Dreamweaver on Creative Cloud. This doesn't work in Dreamweaver CS6 and earlier because this wasn't around before CS6 came out. So this is Dreamweaver CC only. This creates just one OAM file. Great, it goes in the same folder. I'm just going to publish it. Actually, leave it. That's fine. OK. We'll click Publish. And then back in Dreamweaver, we'll navigate to the folder on the desktop, web banner, publish subfolder, animate package, and web banner. Okay, that's our animation in here. We can use the live view to preview it. And it plays nicely here. It's in the center. It is a bit narrower than the image. That's okay. But it's playing. That's how you can easily bring an edge animations into Dreamweaver, position them on a page. I use the template in this case, so... I could position it anywhere on the page because you know template locks certain regions on the page and you can't edit them. Obviously, once you've edited it, what you would do is you would save all the changes. So file save. Make sure you do get this update all file update template files dialog box if you're working on a template, obviously. And have a look on this list. Make sure that you have all the pages listed because these are the pages that have been created from a template and these are the pages that are going to be updated. So if you don't see a page on this list in here, it means you've created it before you created a template. So I'm going to click Update. It takes a split of a second. When it says Done, we'll just click Close. So all the pages have been updated within the site. I'm also going to save the style sheet because I can see in here asterisk symbol, which means the style sheet hasn't been saved yet. So I go to File. Actually, Save All is fine, which will save everything. This will save the style sheet as well. And this will update all the pages and the style sheet so we'll have the animation everywhere, because typically you do want it to have everywhere. So let's appear in all the pages within your site. So let's test it. Let's see if it really worked. 
we, well, in, in case if you were working on a template, we'll just make sure it's working. So we've saved the template, we've saved the style sheet, so everything's saved. Again, if you're not sure, just use File, Save All to save everything. Now we're going to test it on one of the pages to see if it's really working. We know it's working on template, but what about the pages? So we've got the Files panel, we'll open one of the pages that we have created here from the site, from the template. So I'm going to use this news page, we'll double click on it to open it. That's the page content, OK, and this is our edge animation. We're previewing the live view here. OK, it's animating. Perfect. Go back to design view. Let's preview it in a browser as well. So we've got the globe icon here at the bottom. Choose the browser you want to use. We're we'll previewing Firefox in my case in here. That's our animation. OK. That's how you can quickly and easily bring animations from Edge Animate into Adobe Dreamweaver and place them on a the page and remember about some styling. So what we did here is we created a CSS rule, which we call, which is going to be easier here. I go to Migrant Styles, created this rule called Animation. We gave it some size, we gave it some width and height, we gave it a padding, and we gave some margins. Once you finish the website and you make the website responsive, that's why you make the animation responsive at the same time as well. Okay, and that's how you can easily bring animations into Dreamweaver from Adobe Edge Animate.